So here we have to find the value of the term which is independent of x in the expansion of this expansion. So let's see. Now we understand that we are trying to find the term which is independent of x. So what does it mean? It means that it is a term where we have no x. That's what it means. So if you were to expand the whole thing here, which term will give you something where we don't have any x? Now usually how would you expand this? As we have seen uh, many times before and also in AdMath. So usually we will use the, the formula that we have which is taking, so uh, 4, we have 4 here, choose something that we don't know, then we have the first term x and then here we have the other term 3 plus 3 over x, it is positive. Now, we want to choose the power here such that the x will cancel out. So let's think how can this happen. So we understand that for them to cancel out they have to be equal, right? Because if you think we have, for example, when we take x times 1 over x, they will cancel out because they have the same power. So the same logic applies here. So what power can I choose for this one? I will have to choose 2. If I choose 2 here, this also will be 2 here. Now 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 will be here. So now if you expand, you will see what happens. So 4 choose 2 is 6 times x squared. This will be 9 over x squared. Now you can see clearly that these two will cancel out and 6 times 9 will be the term which is independent of x. Now again this is only one way of doing that however if you guys would like to expand the whole thing you can also do that because there's only four terms to expand I mean five terms in total so it will not be that hard you can always expand everything and then choose the term which does not have x which will be independent of x in this question. And this will be the question involving these expansions.